Ben. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of very sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 9 a.m. update. And currently, we have all the U.S. equity futures trading to the downside. The Dow futures are off 102. NASDAQ futures off 44. S&P futures off 15. Russell futures are down 13. They're well off of their session lows out here. Uh, you had overnight in Asia, all the markets traded lower. You had uh, Europe is trading lower this morning. Uh, take a look at precious metals. They're trading lower as well. The Dow gold's off 38 bucks. Silver's down 66. Platinum's off 22. Lights recruit is off $4.73. That's nearly a 5% move to the downside. Natural gas is the only thing trading to the upside, as are the 30-year treasury and the 10-year note out there. The uh, natural gas is trading up 7 cents, 6.73 is its print. The 30-year treasury up 1 point and 12 ticks, 141.16 is its print out here. Um, let's go take a look at, so we've got a little bit of a bounce going on, and, and you should expect and anticipate that that's what the market is trying to do. One of the reasons it's trying to do that well really a couple different reasons one would be because uh, price is oversold when I say oversold I'm referring to the advanced client oscillator of the New York Stock Exchange it closed at minus 156.53 on Friday that once it gets below minus 150 it is an oversold territory it can get oversold so you expect or anticipate some type of bottom and form with uh, between today and the next few days out here that would be a likely outcome the other thing is that on Friday we had a one day rate of change in spot volatility above its 10% move whenever you have a one-day rate of change above plus 10%, you typically see a bounce or bottom on the very next trading session. Well, it turns out, and that really is applying to the ES Mini. So if we move over, we take a look at the ES Mini charts out here, what we'll see is and you, you've got five different intraday time periods out here. The 30-minute in the upper right, 60-minute lower left, 122.40 in the five-hour chart. Well, you'll see out here our bottom patterns that are present right now. So that bounce or bottom that should take place is is in place right now, but no levels of resistance, key levels of resistance have failed. The 30 minute chart price has gotten right up to its key level, that key level being 42.52. The actual close on that bar as we came to the 9 o'clock uh, session out here was at 42.53. So that's a key area of resistance. If pricing closed above that, you'd expect to move to 43.11. So the markets are trying to form a bottom out here. Wouldn't be surprised to see it uh, bounce further. Folks, stay tuned. Tommy O'Brien is up next. Have a mar marvelous, magical Monday. Thanks so much for joining us. I'll see you tomorrow on Tuesday, 1 o'clock sharp, just before the Trader Set Show. Take care, folks.